It's been 18 months since COVID hit India's shores. 18 months since we've all been forced to isolate, stay at home, and yes, work from home too. As a person who's been working from home since 2019, I know this is no easy feat. The boundaries are thin, distractions are plenty, and motivation far and few apart. So, how can we truly feel productive with all these forces around us? Hello and welcome back to the Deep Dive series of the Being Miraculous podcast. I'm your host and self-awareness coach, Shweta Shivraman, here to help you ask the right questions. If you've spent even a few hours online in the last couple of months, you'd have read reports, studies and press rave about the increased productivity of employees with the COVID-induced work-from-home measures. But I have my doubts about those numbers. For starters, these studies don't take into account the increased hours people are working since working from home. There is no account for the psychological consequences of constantly getting distracted while trying to work and definitely none regarding the eventual impact on our mental health with the thinning boundaries between work and life. Most people I interact with in the Being Miraculous tribe and through my coaching conversations are actually facing dips in productivity and motivation which in turn impacts the feeling of accomplishment one derives from doing a good job at work. So if you're one among them too, this one is for you. Here are some questions you can reflect on if you've had some dips in productivity while working from home. 1. What comes in the way when you sit down to work? Pin down the actual thoughts and emotions and see what's the dominant feeling. Is it overwhelm, lack of interest, fear of failure? What really is it? And can you find ways to deal with those thoughts and emotions before sitting down to work? 2. Do you have a reliable schedule in place? Our minds like patterns, so building a schedule for work and rest, practicing it continuously, helps wire our brains to adjust to our new ways of working. The mind also eventually becomes prepared for work and rest automatically and gives lesser resistance to whatever you have to do at that point in time. 3. Where is the imbalance? Are you working too much or too less? If there's one thing I've learned in working from home for over two years, it is that productivity comes not just from doing, but also from being. To work efficiently, one of the most crucial overlooked aspects is balance. Too much work leads to burnout, whereas too much of leisure impacts our morale and self-perception, which leads to lower self-esteem and confidence. So identify what you need more of and find your balance between doing and being. Deep dive on these aspects the next time you feel unproductive or drained and find answers within. If you'd like more one-on-one support with me as your coach, reach out to me for a 30-minute discovery session and let's explore if self-awareness coaching can help you be more productive and live the life of your dreams. This is Shweta signing off, hoping you have a fabulous week ahead.